So last night, <laughs> this is the funniest thing, but I didn't record it. I left my whole truck like this overnight. Jordan orders groceries online. She cannot get our address right. Three weeks ago, we had to go knock on a neighbor's door like eight houses down and grab a bed that she ordered online. She put their address, it's just one number different. <laughs> and she's like, hey babe, um, at 7.40, we need to go take groceries from our neighbor's house. I was like, what? We just sat here forever. They were late, so we just sat here. I got a, a bowl of some food. We were sitting on there at like eight o'clock last night. It felt so weird when the car pulled up and we're like, that's our food. She literally didn't ask who our, what her name was, nothing. She's like, okay, take it. And so, <laughs> anyways, I forgot I left that bowl. Welcome to Traprol. All I have to say each and every week, it's all we do if you haven't figured us out yet, Jesus is better. That's what we do every week. Guys, I, I'm telling you, you might not have ever heard this, but hear me out. Jesus isn't offering instructions for the steadfast. Jesus is offering invitations to the outcast. If we don't understand that, this is foundational in understanding the rest of the Sermon on the Mount. We have created so many ways to determine if God loves or hates us. But that's always antithetical to the gospel. Can't define, okay, these people God loves. These people God hates. So what are some false markers of assurance that you and I have? What are some ways we think, yes, because I do this, God loves me. And in this culture, in this context, people define God's love for them not because God loved them, but because they thought they were lovable or not lovable. Don't mistake your condition as your hope for admission. Don't mistake your demeanor as your hope and redeemer. I'm on a roll this morning, guys. Ninja <laughs> doogie doogie doogie. Do you want to cut my spinach for me or do just, you think I can do it? We just said no more spinach. I'm staying on track starting April 1st. But look, I didn't start the eggs yet, so I won't be in a hurry. Okay, let's watch the video you showed me last night. She, they were jumping off the arm of the couch onto the couch, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take a video of it and tell everyone how much she's stressing me out and just happened to catch on camera. Guys, kids just live to stress you out. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> she landed on her bottom, she was totally fine. That's terrible. Color here to you. So first of all, I want to welcome you to Traprol. I am going to vlog every single day in the month of April. Um, to be honest, I'm a little upset with myself because I was like, oh, if I have 50 likes, which is only about double what I normally get. And you guys here, let me see. Yeah, 128 likes. I think that's a, like part of me loves that I did it so low because then it's like, wow, you guys went way above and beyond. The other part of me is like, Trey, you should have did at least 100. Let's get this Traprol thing going. <laughs> um, this Monday's kind of stinks. Do you, do you like my hipster shirt? Really? Oh no, don't, don't quiz me. Wow, no, oh, so what'd you say? I thought your sermon was good yesterday. This is breaking news guys, cause Shay never tells me stuff like that, so go listen to it on the podcast. <laughs> Get back here. What's your shirt mean? This is Get to God in a hurry. That's How do you I, get to God in a hurry? I don't get it. You, why are you gonna do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> it's what all the Gen Zs are talking about, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we still have that video coming out. Honestly, it's just when there's a day where I'm exhausted with Traprol and don't have anything to upload, then me and Caleb's 10 minute talk about Gen Z speaking will be uploaded. And this whole bop and jam thing will be explained. Yeet! Yeet! So the problem with daily vlogging is you have to come up with some interesting content every single day. And that's why you have friends like KJ, Mr. Idea Man. So I'm gonna put you on the spot. What are some things I should do this month in April to keep people engaged? Here's something that I hate about myself, I think. I have learned, I've done a lot of polls because I say I'm here to inspire and inform. Mm -hmm. People don't care about the informing. They just want the, like, just the entertainment and the fun. Yeah. Like, I wish people came to my channel because they want to learn something. They don't care. They want to see me enjoy life. E even though the numbers are, are different for us, I think that Trey is a significantly better YouTuber than I am. 
all the way around. And if I look at that and then I try to emulate that, there are certain things about him that I could I could try to emulate. For instance, that really in his videos, he has this overtly optimistic, positive attitude. Okay, well, the fact of the matter is, is it's gonna come off real fake from me. <laughs> and and a lot of my audience, no one's ever gonna comment this and say it, but people find it refreshing that I just kind of say what's on my mind. I can probably say some stuff at this point that you probably don't want to try on your channel. You know, there's some stuff I can say that Dave, Dave, it probably just ain't going to work when you get on there and you say, we're out here and everybody's acting like butts, you know, (laughs) it's just not going to work as well. So no, I think that's a great point. And I appreciate your kind words. I wish people kind of saw me more as a, an educator, but I'm more of like an entertainer and I've learned to like be okay with that. Um, because I don't know, that's just what always seems to do better. And it's not, neither of those are fake, but it is leaning into the strengths of like, what do the people want? And just lean into those a little bit more heavily. Yay. (laughs) All right. I have like four meetings today, but that's not fun. Those aren't interesting. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. About to be a guest on somebody's podcast. Let me just say, our daughters, they just tipped over their dresser. It was terrifying.